Welcome to SkyMet. This is the El Nino update. As the monsoon nears, the tracking of El Nino becomes rigorous. All the weather agencies around the globe, they're very closely and consciously they are monitoring El Nino now. Here today we'll see the projections where the probabilities are displayed, month of March as well as April. The March probabilities, when we see, the chances of El Nino in any case were very, very clear even in this plot also. Last few weeks, three things have happened. One is the Nino index in Pacific, that is Nino 3.4, has remained above the threshold value of 0.5 for the eighth straight week. Number two, this has helped the overall Nino index that is for a five consecutive episode of overlapping three months to remain above threshold of 0.5 for five consecutive months. This is the necessary condition to be fulfilled. Now we can safely say that this is an El Nino event. And thirdly, with this now, when we see March and April conditions, just notice in the month of March, March, April, May, it's just about 80% or so, okay? So April, May, June also, it drops a little. Once we see in the month of April, we notice this is a little increase in that. In the month of April, slight increase is noticed during this period, which indicates that it has become a little strengthened, it has become a little stronger now. Obviously, as we see now in, in, in this April projections, these were the earlier March projections, and now it's showing a little stronger than that. Okay, and it is lasting all through the monsoon months. It is 60% in the commencement and even beyond 50 during the monsoon months. This leaves some anxious moments for the health of the monsoon as such. That's how we call it to be possibly below normal at 93% of long period average. Keep watching up SkyMet for further updates. Okay, thank you very much.